Hi everyone, Ezra here from Wild Ones Creative. Today I asked on my Instagram stories what you would like to see more of. So today I decided that I was going to film myself doing a second layer on this ocean piece and teach you all how I get my lacing and cells to pop. So for the second layer on this ocean piece we are using Mastercast 121 resin. It's lovely and thick and holds the details well for our lacing. And I'm also using a Liquitex acrylic ink and this color is deep turquoise. It gives me a really nice transparent color over top of my detail already so that everything shows from underneath and builds depth and also floats the white over top to create that really nice lacing. To get the beautiful structured and detailed lacing that I get in my ocean art pieces, there are a few processes that I like to go through to be able to achieve this look. One is making sure that your resin is warm to begin with. So some people like to put their resin into a warm water bath, the two containers, before they pour it out into their volumes just to warm their resin up first and this eliminates bubbles it also accelerates the curing time which I like. The next tip is making sure that you use quality brands which hold up for resin art so Mastercast is a great thick resin and I prefer a thick resin. Um, also the pigments that we use are by Art Tree Creations and they seem to just work perfectly to be able to get that lacing in those cells. And my final tip that I would give you is to not pour out your resin straight away. I like to mix my resin up and put it into the individual cups to make my, mix my colours and then I like to put it aside and work on some other projects just for 10 to 15 minutes while I'm waiting for the curing process to start in my cup. I don't like to pour out onto my board until I pick up my cup and feel that chemical warmth uh, in my resin. So. I always like to have a few projects on my table so today I'm working on a geode pyramid for a client and also I like to work on a few little other moulds just to distract myself from not pouring straight away so I feel like the stage in which you pour the resin out onto your art piece is really important and that probably is the determining factor whether your resin holds the structure for the lacing or not. So I've picked up my cup and I can feel that chemical warmth that happens when your resin has started curing and I know that this is the perfect time for me to pour out my resin. So I've put down my deep turquoise first and then I've gone back and mixed up a lighter gradient of the turquoise with what was left over in my cup and a bit of extra clear. Then I have just pushed it all around my board with my hands and covered my edges nicely. Next I like to create a barrier between my colour and where I'm going to put my white. This helps the white float across the surface by having volume underneath it to be able to float over and also so that it doesn't just automatically mix with the blue tones underneath. So I always like to create a barrier with clear before I go over with my white. Here I'm just mixing up a bit more resin to use in one of my moulds and you'll see that I've put Mermaid which is a metallic pigment into one of my cups and this just creates a bit of a shimmer on the surface of my ocean piece and just creates a different dimension for depth as well.
So you'll see that I don't actually pour my ocean pieces all in one go. I really feel like timing is a huge factor in creating a really nice resin art piece with beautiful lacing. So I like to distract myself with other projects while I'm letting it get to the point before I hit it with the heat gun. So I have pushed the mermaid tone around with my finger just to create a gleam on top of the surface and then I've gone in with my barrier pour which is clear and then added the white on top so this is going to mean that my white just floats across the surface and doesn't mix with the blue tones. Sometimes I like to just thin it out ever so slightly with my popsicle stick and this just means that it's already thin before my heat gun hits it so I like to leave it again for another five minutes just to settle on my board and then I like to hit it with my heat gun. So after letting my art piece rest for 5 or 10 minutes, I've gone in with my Mako heat gun on the second heat setting. I only have two on this brand. This is available from the warehouse for about $30 I think and I've used them for quite a while and I just feel like it's a great heat gun for quite a cheap price. So I've gone in with my heat gun and you can see that I'm just hitting it with my heat gun and pushing it out and trying to fan it away from myself and the reaction of the heat hitting the pigment is easily just creating lacing as you can see. So unfortunately for you guys, the next part is pretty shaky because my tripod broke and I am trying to film myself using the heat gun whilst I'm holding my phone. So it's maybe a wee bit shaky. So I am heating my area of white and trying to fan it and push it away from me. So the thinner I am getting the white, the better the lacing will pop so I kind of go along my edge and slightly heat it trying to disperse it away from myself and then I'm fanning it to thin it out so the thinner the resin and the pigment at this point the better the lacing will be. So you see that I'm getting down quite close to my resin, uh, never holding it in one space for a long time though, otherwise you'll scorch and burn it. So I'm kind of like heading down on an angle and initially heating it and then trying to push it away so I'm moving my heat gun all the time. And after I've done my first lot of waves I sort of go back and buff the edge so it doesn't look too liney or uniformed because I mean in nature that's not really what a wave looks like so um, I'm trying to replicate that wispy edge of a wave and the more you add heat the more the cells in the lacing should pop out. After leaving my board to cure for a bit longer, I've gone over with my heat gun just to heat some bubbles that were rising up on the surface. And this is the beautiful lacing that I have created today.
I hope you've all enjoyed my resin video on how to create cells and lacing in an ocean art piece and I'd love to hear from you if you've found the tips useful or if you've tried to recreate a piece. So everything that I've used today is available on my website at wildonescreative.co.nz. Have a great day.